So what we are seeing is a real-time condo environment running in virtual reality. You can look around, crutch down to the floor, or even jump up to look over the fridge. You move around by teleporting your position with the hand controllers. I use the teleportation method as it is more suited for new users of virtual reality. Doing so, you are much less likely to feel motion sickness, but at the same time, it can be rather limiting for people with more experience using virtual reality. To fully appreciate this, you would actually need to watch it on a virtual reality headset, as the video we are watching now is only in two dimensions. So how did I create this scene? The virtual condo is based off a real place, and by living here it made matching the look and feel much easier. I can safely say that walking around in the virtual condo feels right at home in terms of look and feel to the real thing. Seeing this place in virtual reality sometimes can mess with your head, feeling too real at times. Everything in this environment was made by myself over the span of three months. I use unconventional design tools such as SolidWorks that you wouldn't normally think of using for creating game-type, real-time content. SolidWorks is better known for designing things like car engines or cell phones. But when you think about it, if you're trying to recreate a real environment, in this case a man-made one, you should use the original tools that the creators used. In this case, it's safe to assume that most of the things in this condo were likely designed by someone using CAD software tools and not tools used to create film, visual effects, or games. Conversely, if you're trying to create a more natural environment, like a forest or a fantasy scene, you would use different tools better suited for that kind of task. But those CAD tools can only get you so far, and those high-resolution 3D models need to be converted into low-resolution ones with UVs. After you have your 3D model, it all comes down to the lighting and shading to make it look real. In this case, I use Substance Painter and Designer to create physically based materials that closely match the real surface. One of the hardest things to get right in real-time graphics is to get realistic surface reflections. Not only that, but reflections in general are very computationally expensive. But it is necessary to get them working because real-world materials from metals to shiny plastics to hardwood floors reflect light in various different and sometimes subtle ways. Your material shaders will never look right unless you have the correct lighting and reflection models driving them. So what are my predictions of VR in the future? Right now there's a lot of money being invested into virtual reality by large tech companies. Their current focus is on mobile VR and mixed reality. They forecast that VR will be mainstream in roughly 5 years from now. I think that their prediction is off by another 5 years from where they expect to be. In my opinion, it'll be about a decade before mobile, virtual and augmented reality headsets are technologically working good enough to become mainstream. The main limiting factor stopping VR from being everything we want it to be is the raw computing power needed to process the graphics. Right now, high-end gaming PCs can barely handle the frame rates needed to drive current generation headsets. And current headsets are still lacking in resolution. Thanks to cell phone technology, small LCD screens used in VR have gotten much better over the last couple years. I think that in 5 years from now, we'll see VR headsets connected to computers at resolutions high enough that we no longer see individual pixels and the computing power to run these screens fast enough for VR. Looking through the goggles, you'll have an all-encompassing image as sharp as current computer screens we have now. 5 years from now, we'll start seeing VR on PCs that start looking convincingly real to our eyes and indistinguishable from reality. But in no way will we see anything like that running on a mobile VR headset. Mobile virtual reality and augmented reality in 5 years will start being capable of displaying graphics we are currently running on PCs right now. And they will largely depend on how fast and battery efficient mobile processor chips get. 
Where the future of VR is going, I don't know. I don't think anyone knows. Will it be on the back burner for the decades to come? Or will it take off to the point of feeling so real we see a future depicted like in books Ready Player One? Already, we have great uses from video games to medical training to buying real estate and selling cars. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the thumbs up and post any questions you have below. And if you have access to a VR headset, feel free to try out the condo environment for yourself.